In this video, we're going to get into making this wood chain. Uh, basically what it is, I wanted to use up a bunch of scrap wood I had. So I ripped some pieces uh, of uh, three-quarter stock. Ripped it down to a uh, quarter inch here, and these lengths are a half an inch. So that'll give us a total overall width of one inch. Uh, it's kind of a fun little project. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but uh, we'll figure out something. So, okay. Now, uh, the pins are 3 16th of an inch inch and a quarter apart. Like I said, the overall length is two inches. So now we'll get into the build. Okay, I got uh, a whole bunch of scrap wood here. I cut up mostly three quarter stock. Cut these uh, three quarter wide, quarter inch thick. Those will be the outside links. And then I cut a bunch of stock three-quarter wide and uh, half inch thick you got to be uh, about two inches long and from this we'll be uh, making the uh, chain links and uh, when I finish cutting these up then we'll get into drilling the holes. Okay, now on the drill press, I took a scrap piece of wood here and glued another scrap piece to it. This piece has two holes in it. Uh, and they're spaced, uh, I believe, one inch one and a quarter inches apart. Okay, that'll be the the distance on these holes here. Bolted that down to the table, put a pin in one, and now I've got a jig for drilling the holes. Now the way this will work, I also made a little mark here that's uh, just past the 3 8 radius from this hole. So now we'll drill. We'll line that up with that hole there. And with a 3 16 drill, we'll drill the hole in there. <laughs> Okay, there's your 3 16 hole, and then we move him over here to the other pin and drill the other hole. Okay, now we've got two holes in there. So now we'll just go ahead and we'll drill a bunch of these out.
Okay, and the same thing will apply to the uh, the quarter inch pieces. Right now, rather than uh, you sitting here watching me drill all kinds of holes in here, I'll just finish up the rest of them off camera. All right, I got all the holes drilled in these, and the next step will be to uh, rough cut the uh, radiuses on the ends of these. We'll do that on the table saw with another jig. And then finally we'll uh, use a belt sander jig to finish them up. Alright, this, uh, this is my small parts jig I made a couple years ago. Just rides in the slot. It's even with the blade here. I've used it for a couple of projects. Cutting saw circles and so forth. I'll take these two studs out because we won't need them for this operation. And uh, I drilled a hole here a uh, little over three eighths from the edge and we'll use that to rough cut the uh, chain links with. We'll set it on there and it'll swivel around, make several passes round the end, flip it over, and do the same thing. Uh, just be careful doing this because uh, even though your hand is over here from the angle of this camera uh, it's going to look a lot closer than it is but I'll, I'll be holding it back here okay but due to the way the camera angle is don't freak out because this way here it, it looks a lot closer than it actually is We'll go ahead and cut these. I just make a few cuts here just to rough it in. Okay, that's one rough cut, and uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll do some more. Okay, and we got plenty more to do, 
So again, I'll do these off camera so I don't bore you looking at the same thing over and over again. Now I got all my uh, pieces here rough cut. There's a quarter inch and uh, these are half inch. And the next uh, operation we'll do is we'll uh, we'll sand the uh, ends of these down on the belt sander. All right, uh, here's the belt sander, uh, sander jig. I built that a couple years ago. I did the same thing here. I put a block of scrap wood here. Drilled a hole for a 3 16 pin. Got it set up, uh, well, it's 3 8 away. And we can set our link on here like so. I probably should start this way. Set it up here like so, and then all we do is we turn the link around and it'll sand it smooth. Get the other end. And there you go. Ends are rounded off. That's basically all there is to doing that. Go on to the next one. Okay, again, I, uh, I won't bore you with doing all of these. There's quite a few of them. Now, what I like to do is, once I get it to this point here, then I'll uh, round the edges off. We'll do that real quick. Edges are all rounded, and that link is now done. Now we just got uh, quite a few more to do, and we'll finish those up off camera and get into the assembly. Okay, I got a 316 dowel here. And now the quarter inch links, you want to 
a snug fit on that. But the uh, the bigger ones, the half inch wide links, you want those to be loose. So I'll uh, take a 1364 drill and drill these out. You're only making it one sixty-fourth of an inch bigger. Okay, now these should all fit loose on here. And I've got uh, I got a few of these rounded off. I'm uh, I'm not gonna do all of these now. because uh, I want to get on with the video. But I still got plenty more over here to, to round them off and so forth, sand them up. Alright, now I got my sled set up here. Got my uh, 316s down. Now over here I got a stop set for just over an inch. So we'll cut the pins next. Okay, I'll go ahead and cut the rest of these off, off camera. But here's your pins. And we'll need a whole bunch of those. We'll need two pins for each uh, quarter inch wide link. So, I'll go ahead and cut those off camera. And then uh, come back. Alright, now what I did is glue these uh, pins in the one side. And then, uh, then we'll just stick on a link, half inch link. Put that in there like so. And we'll put another one over here. Put another one over here. Put the top on. Put this top on here. I it's optional. You can either leave uh, Leave it like that, glue the top on if you want to be able to take them apart, but I I glued the, the bottom here. Anyway, so that's, that's, uh, that's how you make a chain. I'm 
Hey, you want to hold this for me? Okay, there it is. Chain. Uh, stick the last link in there. Put the top on it. There you are. Wood chain. Thank you. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.